During the pandemic, some industries relied on money from the government to stay afloat. That includes Idaho's child care industry. But money is running out, and local child care providers are trying to figure out what's next. News Channel 7's Abby Davis talked to one of those providers. So, Abby, how will they adjust? Well, Doug, it's taking a lot of planning. Mary Clemens owns a child care center in Boise. She's currently reworking some business plans to deal with the federal loss. Um, I don't know. Go check with Miss Rhiannon. She might know where your shoes are. Kids doing what kids do best. Uh, mud, water, sand, paint, all those things that get kids a little messy. In an environment the pandemic tested the past several years. We closed down for a few, uh, for eight weeks or so like everybody else. But when we reopened, we reopened with 12 children. Down from her usual 144, Mary Clements owns Lakewood Montessori. Even though she's been back at full capacity for a while. I worry. That's because federal pandemic money for the child care industry is running out. We've received the $20,000 a month grant. June will be the very last month that any of our child cares receive money. Lakewood isn't alone. Around 700 other child care businesses also received thousands of dollars to help keep the lights on every month. And 3,600 individual child care providers, the employees, got $300. We are anticipating significant changes across the child care industry who have been dependent on these dollars for the last three years. It's an issue bringing together child care advocates across the Treasure Valley, like Emily Allen. We are seeing literally hundreds of child care businesses closed since the onset of the pandemic. She thinks many more will shut their doors too. Idaho has lacked sufficient availability for years, and with the impending fiscal cliff, we're, more closures will exacerbate uh, the lack of availability. For the remaining centers, Clemens says there's limited options to keep up with inflation and staffing costs. So once that federal money drops off, we have no choice but to raise tuition. She already announced a 10% hike. And it's not quite enough. We're going to have to announce another small increase. A big ask Clements doesn't take lightly. That's the only tool that we have to um, make our budgets work. The only way to keep their employees working and kids learning. We've actually been covering this story for months, and everyone I've talked to so far, including Clements and Allen, say it will take many different groups to ensure Idaho's child care industry doesn't collapse. Clements says there is no state money put into the child care industry right now, and she thinks that that needs to change so the burden doesn't fall on parents. It is interesting how this is all playing out now that the COVID relief dollars are running out and they're having to adjust. Abby, thank you for that update.